everyone, it's Sarah from PinkCricket.com and today we are going to do a fun little project. Well, we're, we won't finish the complete project, but we'll get through most of it. I'm actually going to be working with heat transfer vinyl, my favorite place to get that. Um, really, it depends on the best deals at the moment. JustForCrafters.com is a good place to get it. So, that's, a, that's always my first kind of look, see, and then... If I can't find it there, Expressions Vinyl is another place that I look. Just depends on who's having great deals. So heat transfer vinyl is what it's called, and you iron it on to close. So here's what we are going to be making. I have already have this out. It says, hello, I'm new here. It's for a baby. It's for a onesie. So I've made these onesies before, but I wanted to show you how it actually works on the silhouette because you don't need a mat to use vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. So that's what I want to show you. So anyways... I have my words here and I need to reverse them for heat transfer vinyl. For regular vinyl, you don't need to do that, okay? Only for heat transfer vinyl because you're going to be ironing it on. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything and I'm going to flip horizontally and that's it. I've already sized this out so that it is uh, about four inches across because the onesie is pretty small. So there's our words. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that when I send it to my silhouette that I have my settings set to actually iron on transfer. So it's actually a setting on here that says heat transfer material. Oh, that one's flocked and we don't have flocked. We just have smooth. So that's what we're going to be using and I'm going to set my blade to two. And then we're going to go ahead and cut. So I will see you at the silhouette. Okay, so we're at our silhouette and I've gone ahead and I've made sure that my blade was at two. You can turn your blade depth here, okay? And then I've also moved my track step, my rollers down. So how you do that is you unlock here, you twist it off of the indentation and you can slide it to wherever you need. Why I'm sliding mine down is because I'm using a piece of heat transfer vinyl that's not 12 inches long. And since we're not using a mat, that's typically going to be what you're going to need to do is move the rollers down. So. When you load your media, you want to make sure that on the screen right here it actually says load media and not load cutting mat, otherwise your cuts will be off. Also, when you load your heat transfer vinyl or any vinyl, actually when you load your heat transfer vinyl, you're going to make sure that you're not cutting on the shiny like plastic part that's protecting the vinyl. You want to cut out on the actual vinyl part because that's where we're cutting backwards. Regular vinyl you do not have to do that with. Okay, so I'm going to line it up with my rollers, and I'm going to click Load Media, and then I'm going to go back to my computer, and I'm going to go ahead and click Cut, and away it goes. No mat necessary. I actually love this about the cameo or the portrait because you don't have to fiddle with a mat and the vinyl sticky, the very thin vinyl sticky to the mat. So, love, love, love this feature. If it only cut vinyl for me, I would be quite happy just because it's so awesome that it can cut it without a mat. This is cut so weird just because I always, I'm doing new projects and I just want to keep the most scrap vinyl that I can. I've been getting lots of questions about how you can load vinyl without a mat, so that's why I chose to do this video today. Okay, it's all done. So I'm going to unload, and then I'm just going to slide this out of the way so you can see what we're doing here. I'm going to trim around where I just cut. And my favorite tool to use to weed is actually my Tim Holtz, uh, I don't even know what this is called now, my Tim Holtz sticky thing. I don't know, it's sharp. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it. Okay, it'll come to me when I'm trying to go to sleep tonight. So I'm just going to weed this off of here. And you'll see why it helps that it was backwards. Don't want to lose my little... There we go. 
now I'm going to take out all these middle pieces. I actually love to work with vinyl. Not just heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl is one of my favorites, but all vinyl. I really enjoy working with it. And I know that a lot of people are scared to work with it just because it's, in, it's a little intimidating at first, but it's quite easy once you get the hang of it, especially with the silhouette because, like I said, the setting's already in there. As long as you remember to adjust your blade, then you're good to go. And really, you can quickly personalize a project like those tumblers, those plastic tumblers that people drink out of, or t-shirts for like your kid's soccer team. As a matter of fact, I do a soccer, no, it's not a soccer team. It's a t-ball team. Every year they have me do their back of their t-shirts just because it's fun. And then their team looks kind of cool because they have these cool, awesome glitter names on their backs. <laughs> They choose glitter, which I would too. It's a girl team. Not that boys can't have glitter. Boys can have glitter. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now you can see well, when we press it down, it will be the right way. Okay, when we iron it down. So I'll show you what it's going to look like. I'm not going to do the whole ironing thing with you here just because, well, I don't want to bore you. I'm doing pink and green. And this will just get ironed on straight like this. Just I will make sure it's straight and then I will iron it on. The reason why I chose pink and green is because I have this cute, cute bow that's going to go with it. Right? Like how cute is this little outfit? Okay, it's for a new baby that's coming here soon, soon, soon. So I need to send her a little onesie. So I think that she'll look darling in this. That's it. Oh, I get my onesies. Um, I really like the different color ones. I get my onesies from Amazon and they, I watch for deals. The Disney line is um, really a good line because they have sales and the onesies are really nice. Plus, they have these like adjustable um, snaps so that they grow with your baby. So I want to say that I get a set of four for like five bucks-ish. So anyways, good place to look. Amazon and plus prime shipping if you have that. So that's it. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.